Hi guys, welcome to this interesting video called Coding Wars. In this video, we have two participants from DTU and NSIT. So this is going to be an interesting video and we will see who will code faster and who can code in a more efficient manner when it comes to time complexity. So let me introduce our participants. Hi, what is your name? Hi sir, my name is Pulkit Singhal and I am a second year student at DTU. Hi Pulkit, how are you feeling now? Do you think you can participate in this Coding Wars competition? Sure sir, I am very excited for the competition and uh, DTU and SUT is a big rivalry. Okay. So, uh, looking forward to it. So, who do you think is going to win this competition? I will try my best and will beat NSUT. Okay. So, Pulkit from DTU thinks that DTU can defeat NSUT in this com coding competition. And we have our second participant. Hi, what is your name? Hi sir, my name is Subham. Do you think that DTU can defeat NSUT in this competition? Sir, DTU is a nice college, but I will try my best to defeat DTU. So Shubham from NSUT believes that he has an upper edge. And let us continue with this Coding Wars challenge. In the next frame, we'll join you from our Coding Wars room. So Pulkit and Shubham, before we begin our Coding Wars, let me tell you the rules of the coding wars, okay? So, in this challenge, so I will be giving each one of you a coding problem and you will be getting this coding problem on our Coding Ninja Studio platform. So, on Coding Ninja Studio, you can read the problem and then attempt it in any of your preferred languages, whether it is C++, Java or Python, okay? And what we will be doing to test the coding skills of both of you is so we are going to time how long it takes for you to code so once i give you the laptop and you start reading the problem i'm going to start the stop clock and we will end the time once you successfully submit the code okay and this is a very straightforward challenge whoever codes faster is going to be the winner but there is a small catch here in case any one of you uh you know, is just within 30 seconds of the other. Then we are going to consider a second metric. Instead of time, then we will consider the runtime of the code. So did you both understand the rules of the game? Yes, sir. Okay. And Pulkit, are you excited? Yes, sir. Okay. So who do you think is going to win? Uh, let's see. Okay. And uh, Pulkit, do you think DTU can defeat NSUT today? Yes, sir. I think we can defeat NSUT. And what are the topics that you fear the most? Uh, sir, I fear uh, DP. Same with me. Okay, so let's hope that you do not get a DP problem. So now what we will do is, uh, we'll begin with Pulkit from DTU first. So Pulkit, let me begin by giving you the problem. So let me read the problem's title. It is called Reverse the Array. Okay, so I'm giving you the laptop and I am starting the timer now. So let me quickly read the problem statement. So you have given an array list ARR of integers and a position M. You have to reverse the array after that position. Okay, so did you understand the problem? Yes, sir. So I think you, are, you can start right away. So Pulkit is starting in to code in C++. You have an array considering 0 base indexing 0, 1, 2, 3 after you have to reverse the array after that position. Okay. Did you understand the problem? Okay. How easy or do you know how would you rate it? Sir, this is a pretty easy problem. Okay. So let me not interrupt you much. I think you can begin. Okay. If you want, you can like explain as you code. Basically, I'm taking a start variable, which is equal to the position after given okay. M. I think it's slowing you down. Let me not interrupt you. I think you can yeah, continue uh, coding. I'll uh, try to explain what uh, Pulkit is doing. So Pulkit has started uh, taking some, uh, he has taken a variable start when given the value M plus one. And uh, there is a while loop. So inside that we are trying to put the value of the array into a temporary variable and it is basically it identifies at which point we want to take the two numbers and I think then you have to just swap the numbers from then. 
right at that index so pulkit has already submitted and let me get the so we have just submitted and yes i have stopped the timer and yeah i think that was pretty fast uh, you were able to do it really well pulkit what do you think is the time that you have taken i think less than less than 5 minutes okay so let me not reveal your time right now i think uh, we'll wait till the second participant so let me tell the time complexity that pulkit has got so pulkit's code has run in 22 milliseconds so that is the run time of your code so let's see how shubham performs okay let me call the second participant shubham please come so the problem for you is reverse the array okay so i'm giving you the laptop you can uh, go through the problem i'm starting the timer so the problem statement is you are given an array list arr of integers and a position m you have to reverse the array after that position m so we have shubham who has started right away so shubham do you think you will be able to do this yes i will try okay so we have shubham he has taken uh, i think the approach is uh, you are getting the swap so is shubham has gone into swapping the elements of the array and i think then you will put the condition from where you want to swap yes, sir sir first i have taking the initial value i think there are some test cases it is failing but yeah i think this is pretty quick uh, shubham has just been able to do the code very fast so, yes sir yeah it has It's just fast. submit your code sir, i think this was like really quick and this was one of the fastest submissions okay let me just stop the timer right now and uh, yeah i have got your time shubham all right so uh, let me also tell the run time that uh, shubham's code has taken so it has taken 20 milliseconds okay so shubham how do you think you performed in this problem and can you just quickly tell what was the like base concept of this and uh, Uh, i think it was an easy problem for you right yes sir uh, here we only need to check that our starting position will be m plus 1 because we need to reverse uh, the element after m position okay. what do you think is the time complexity of this o, o of n basically it's o of uh, size minus m because uh, we only uh, travel till uh, elements after m index and uh, pulkit i think you were able to also look at uh shubham's performance i think he did pretty well okay. probably better than me okay and uh, yeah it was a close competition so i uh, would like to say it was really fun having both of you and uh, uh, let me come to the most awaited part of this video so we have this coding wars video episode between dtu and nsut so we had pulkit from dtu and shubham from nsut and they both were given the same problem and uh, i haven't yet revealed the time but uh, let me just tell you the time but before that i just want you guys to guess uh, you know do you want to guess how much time you took sir so, 2 minutes okay and uh, pulkit what do you think is the time that you have taken i think i have taken more than 2 minutes okay without any delay let me come to what was the performance of both of these so the winner of this coding wars contest between dtu and nsut is what do you say <laughs> any final words okay and yeah the winner is shubham from nsut so shubham was able to solve this in just 1 minute and 4 seconds so that uh, is a very good performance for this and you were able to read the problem and solve and submit it in 1 minute 4 seconds and pulkit did a really good job but i think it was just uh, that shubham was able to do it better uh, and in this context uh, pulkit took over 2 minutes so since the difference of both their times is more than 30 seconds so the winner is going to be shubham from nsut so shubham how are you feeling it is a nice feeling but uh, pulkit did well also did well Uh, it happened to be yeah. that he was able to yes. solve it faster yeah it's nothing about competition okay uh, we we are officially friends only and yeah he did pretty well so shubham congratulations again and for winning this challenge of coding wars between dtu and nsut so we have a small gift for you thank you 
So here you go and uh, congratulations and it was really fun participating with you. Thank you sir. Okay. How do you feel? Uh, nice. Okay. Any other words you want to add? Uh, just uh, awesome. Okay. And do you think DTU students need to now up their uh, uh, skills and preparation to come and uh, compete with NSUT? No, um, basically both colleges are at the same level, but they uh, both colleges has uh, fantastic students. Uh, their coding skill is very good, and both are the same. I do not think DTU is uh, smaller or bigger than NSIT, or okay. NSIT is smaller bigger than DTU. Okay, I think that is really a uh, good thought that you have. I think it's just a battle, and a battle has to have a winner and a loser. But I will call Pulkit as our second winner. So Pulkit, thank you for performing uh, and participating in the squad war. And I really thought that you had it, you know, when we first uh, gave you the problem. Yeah. So I would like to thank you for uh, being a participant in our coding wars. And hopefully we'll see you in the future episodes yeah. as well. Sure, sir. Yeah, it was great having a competition with you know, different college okay. and thanks for, to Coding Ninjas and for organizing this. Okay. Thank you and uh, thank you to both our participants, uh, Shubham and Pulkit. So if you found this interesting, do like this video and comment below which other colleges do you want them to participate in this Coding Wars or what other categories of people do you want to see participate in the Coding Wars in the coming videos. And if you would like to participate in your own coding wars, what you can do is you can log into Coding Ninja Studio and you can practice problems for free. And there are a lot of material that is there to help you become a better coder. So join Coding Ninja Studio today. Check the link in the description and pinned comment. Thank you for being a part of this video and we will see you in the upcoming episodes of Coding Wars. Thank you.